Hey guys, so we've been doing some watercolor comparison kind of shopping things and I've been trying different brands and sharing them with all of you and I've been generally speaking getting sets of things like the Van Gogh one um, here and the Koi one that I have in my travel bag. Um, I have the Sennelier one here and I've been as I get them, swatching them, of course, making color keys. It's usually the first thing I do when I get a kit. And I like being able to compare them to some of the others. Now, I like the Sennelier paints, for instance. This is a Sennelier half pan set of cake watercolors. And I like their colors in everything. Um, and I like the set. I like the choice of colors in this set. This is a 18 pan. Let's see. 14 pan set. Um, for me, I know I can't really get a, a selection less than that because I'm not happy unless there's a larger variety of colors and that I have some darks and some lights. For me, this Sennelier set, um, I love this particular blue color and the Viridian is just fabulous. Um, the lemon yellow, the yellows, like in here we have lemon yellow, here we have cadmium yellow light. These are nice and bright. Um, I prefer this brighter, kind of purer, lemony yellow. The Cad Yellow in the Sennelier set is more like the Azo Yellow, which is a little um, less true to me. But I love the Elizabeth and Crimson and the Rose Matter. Um, it's a good set. Um, I love both of these equally. I wouldn't put one of these over the other necessarily, but the Van Gogh has more colors in it. So for that reason, I would choose it. You all know I love the Koi, and for the price, neither the Van Gogh set or the Sennelier are what you would call cheap, although I did get a bargain on the price on both of them. Um, I had a coupon for one, and the other one was in old packaging, so I, it was discounted. Um, the Koi set is still by far the most cost affordable. Um, they have it at Hobby Lobby. It's about $35, $36 for the set, and you can use a coupon. Um, every week, Hobby Lobby has a 40% off coupon. Where I bought these, they don't do coupons, so um, not all the time anyway. So um, I do like these, and if you want something that's above a koi, I would definitely recommend one of these. I did get some new paints to try when Claudia was here visiting, and we went, she and Sarah and I, um, and I went on our shopping day to San Francisco and we went to Dick Blick, um, which I've been to before and I like to go to, but they have more things on their website than, than they do in the store. So if you're expecting the same selection as on the website, you won't get it. They do have a lot, don't get me wrong. And if you want to see 99.9% .9 of the products that Golden makes, go to Dick Blick because they have one whole aisle that's just Golden products and it's fabulous. <laughs> Um, but I did buy some things while I was there, and I did buy some things the night before when we went to Hobby Lobby. So any of you who are paper crafters and you've heard about the Gonzai Tom Tombi uh, watercolor kit from Japan, it comes in a green cardboard box, and I will try to include a picture of it right here. Cause okay, so it comes in that green paper cardboard box, and um, I did get one and I love the paint. I hated the box. Now I did get a few tubes of coir to try and I've added them to um, one of my metal kits. Yeah, this one. So I have one of these metal, this is a schmink, a schmink palette but I bought it empty and it's a schmink palette that has a selection of paints in it and actually has a couple of empty spots. Um, including Coir. So this is um, a set of paints and colors I love. I love these these kit, these cold 48 uh, half pans um, and 24 full pans. These are full pans. These littler ones are half pans. Now in this one I have some Sennelier tube paints at the bottom and this is a schmink, sample of a schmink paint that they sent me in a full pan. And then these are a variety of other brands, including Quar. Um, and I like the Quar paints, um, like they have the cobalt teal, which they also do in um, 
acrylic because Coir is made by Golden, in case you didn't know. Um, so I put the tubes that came in this tin box, um, I put them in here, I squeezed them out to my little pans, and then I put the tubes away in my backstock paint drawer. They came shipped in this metal box, and I always thought, what the heck am I going to do with the box? I didn't really throw it away because I thought, you know, there must be something that's going to come up eventually. And I know I talked in another video about how it seemed like it would be the perfect, like, watercolor paint palette box. Um, and because it's metal, that you could probably put a sheet of magnets in the bottom and use, like, bottle caps or something to arrange a paint palette. And the lid has dimples in it, um, which is great for mixing because it's already got these dimpled holes. When I got the Gonzai Tombi watercolors, um, I decided, I looked at it, and I thought, it comes in these pans, they're bigger than half palette, uh, I mean in full palette, uh, blah blah blah, <laughs> they're bigger than full pan, and I should have an empty full pan so I can show you. Here's some empty ones. So this is a normal size full pan, and the Gonzai are bigger. Is that okay? So I can't take these out and put them into one of those empty metal pallets. And then I thought, you know, I wonder if they fit in that core box I have out in the garage. Sure enough, not only did they fit, but I have space for a water brush right here. So that's convenient way to use them to make some sort of a, a portable watercolor palette, isn't it? And of course I right away did a color key, because I always do. And I love the colors, and I think they're very comparable to my other favorite sets, um, which would be the Van Gogh. And let's see, let me get out the Koi one. And everybody who came to my house this week to play with Claudia and I got to play with all the watercolors. So here's the Koi color key. And here's the Sennelier color key. Now most of the time on the back of these color keys, I write on the back what's, see that one doesn't have it, look. This one does. So I try to write on the back what set it goes to, so in case I have them out like this and I get them mixed up, I know which is which. So there's that one, and then I have, this is just Daniel Smith, this is my mix one, I'm running out of camera space yet, <laughs> and this is Schmink. Now these, now the Daniel Smith one is in my big round palette. Um, I do have a smaller metal palette that I've made with the same paint colors that I can take around with me. I do love my Daniel Smith paints. They have colors like Moon Glow that nobody else has. Um, this is a schmink. <clears throat> so I can see where some of these have really great, bright, fabulous colors in them and others um, are okay. Some of them are more have more granular pigments or granu granular, less smooth ways that the paint dries on the paper. Like if you look at the schmink compared to some of the colors on the Daniel Smith, it just looks like they dry without like, almost looks like in some of the colors there's little bits of grain or sand in the paint when it dries and that you don't see that here. I don't mind that. I like those different things that happen in the paint. Um, I think if you're just starting out with watercolor, that the Gonzai is a really great buy, and so is the Koi. Both of these are at Hobby Lobby. They're, uh, the Gonzai is $40. Um, the Koi is about $36, I think. Use a coupon. You can use a coupon on them. My only gripe with the Gonzai is not the, uh, the colors are fabulous, and it has a few colors in it like the pale aqua that you don't kind of really see. And I mean, look at all the palettes I have and you don't really see that color anywhere. Um, I do really like their colors and especially I think for a beginner or um, a paper crafter, maybe somebody who's doing cards, either one of these would be great. My only gripe with the Gonzai is it came in that dumb paper box. I don't like the paper box. And the Koi comes in a great box. Because when I watercolor, 
I open up my kit and I spray it with water to get that paint going and to get it start to get it juicy. And when you, if you're doing that and your paints are in a paper box, that's not going to work too well. That box is going to get soggy and ruined pretty fat, dang quickly. So that would be my only gripe. I love the paints. I will be using them, but um, yeah, that box had got to go. So if you have a, if you have them or you get them, this is the selection of 24 colors, and um, I think they had 24 and 12. And if you ha get them and you have a metal box think or some kind of a metal or plastic tin um, that they will fit in I would recommend transferring them this is about it's like eight and a half plus a sixteenth I don't know what that is and about six and three quarters um, just a little bit less than three quarters of an inch deep. So that gives you some kind of an idea of how big it is. Um, and if you have these paints, then you can look for something like this to put them into. Now I just put them in with E6000 and glued them down. You could put little magnets on the back of them and put a sheet of, and then you know, stick them down to the, because this is metal. So you could put little magnets on the back of them and stick them in and then you could move them around if you wanted. I didn't want it to move around and pop out. Don't forget when you get a new set of watercolors, the first thing you should do is make a color key because the way the colors look in the pan is very different than how they look when they're painted on paper. And you can really tell that with the Gonzai because here is the cobalt blue in the pan and here is the cobalt blue on the paper. Um, very, very different. So make sure you right away do a color key, put it in the tin and then you're good to go. I do recommend, and as you can see, I need to catch up with some of my color keys because I haven't done them all. But I recommend that you laminate them or put them in some kind of a plastic sleeve. I have a video on my channel for that that you can look up. Um, it should be a Watercolor Wednesday video. And I recommend that because you're going to be here working with the paint and water. And you want to protect the color key that you made um, and not ruin it or contaminate the colors. So you have a true idea of what the colors are going to look like. And, you know, bonus, if you get paint splatters on it, like it's on the Van Gogh one, you can just take a baby wipe and wipe them off. These, I also got, and I, they're still in the tubes. I haven't opened them yet, but I did play with them a little bit and put them on this card. These are Maymary Blue watercolors. Um, where are they made? Made in Italy. And I've heard about them, and I wanted to get a few colors to try. Actually, you know, I like sets. So I wanted to get a set. They don't carry the sets in the store. They do have them on the website, but you know, I was there. I didn't want to wait, so I picked up a few colors. And I gotta say that I like them. They're really bright, and I think they're very comparable to the Koi colors. Um, I love this one. This one is a, was it turquoise green? Yes, it's called turquoise green. And isn't that the most yummy turquoise color you've seen in a while? This one is called Dragon's Blood. I love that color, and I wasn't, you know, you're never sure. You can't judge it by the label on the outside because that label is never the same color as the paint in the tube. So I just kind of thought, well, Dragon's Blood sounds interesting. I'll get that one. <laughs> uh, let's see, which one is it, though? Here it is, Dragon's Blood. So that's what it looks like in the tube. It gives you an idea of what it's like. It's pretty, you know, it's a good impression of the color. It's not an exact color. But it's certainly an interesting color. So I'm going to be putting these into a palette at some point, And we'll be playing with these on a watercolor Wednesday. And I like them. Now, the compared to other art, and these are artist quality paints. Compared to some of the artist quality paints, these are a, a lot more affordable. These were between 7 and like $11 a tube. I have Series 1 and Series, I think there's one Series 3 paint here. One of them was $11, the rest of them were $7. Um, so they're not super expensive compared to some others that are $15 to $20 a tube. Um, and I really like the bright colors. Um, I thought they were really easy to use. They blended out nicely and yeah, I really was pleased with them. So we will definitely be playing with them 
Um, I have to say of the smaller sets, I still think the Koi is my favorite or the Van Gogh. Um, they were inexpensive, the Koi especially was inexpensive and it had a great color selection. So if you're going to all, I know a lot of you are asking me, you want to try watercolor, what should I get? If you can afford it and you have a coupon, go to Hobby Lobby and it's going to be, you know, 35, 35 or $36, you know, use a 40% off, whatever that is, you have to figure out the math. Um, start with this one because it's really nice. It has enough darks and enough lights and a white and a purple. I use a lot of purple when I paint or I like to anyway and I'm constantly mixing purple and that drives me up the wall. So I like sets that have purple in it. You can tell because when I bought the May Marie, look I bought three purples. <laughs> I should have actually bought another red and I didn't. I bought three purples. So I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway, so you have to figure out also what you like and what you don't and you know start to customize what you have to suit your style accordingly but you know I hope this all gives you some idea of what's out there and how expensive they are or aren't. Um, the Gonzai set I know was 40 the Koi set was about 36 this um, Sennelier set I want to say it was $60 for this little set <laughs> Um, and I think this one was about the same price. This one should have been more, but this Van Gogh one is the one that came with um, the wrong old packaging. And I think if I had a choice again between these two, I'd buy this one instead of this one. That's just my opinion for whatever it's worth. All right, you guys all go out and have a great day. Do some painting. Think about buying yourself some watercolors and have a nice day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later.